my cooling in progress. It's recording now. It's recording. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Keys to the Jet. Uh, it's your usual suspects, minus Rhino. Uh, so now we're missing Fab and Rhino. Wild animals. Wild fucking animals. They're, st- <laughs> they're probably fucking on that pool table again. Anyways, fucking. <laughs> who's here? Who are you guys? And I'm Stoner. Yeah. And I'm Blackbeard. Blackbeard. I'm Stoner. Mikey. Hello, Mikey. Hey, what's going on? Our special guest is Mr. Stoner. How's How it going, doing? everybody? What's up, dude? I'm doing good. I am uh, pretty tired. It's uh, 2.30 in the morning to where I'm at right now. So, But I am excited to be here. I'm a longtime listener. Worked with uh, a couple of you guys back in the heyday. Yeah. So I'm excited to actually be on here. Long time listener, first time caller. Woo. Yeah, facts. <laughs> Can you say where you're at? Uh, I am in the, how do I want to put this? I'm in the Pacific. Let's just put it like that. <laughs> yeah. That's cool, man. Hey, listen, thank you. Thank you for listening and following. I appreciate that. Uh, we're trying to build this, you know, military community. Thank you for your service. Thank you for your cervix <laughs> as well. Uh, people like to steal our memes, you know, in this uh, in this place. Like, fuck yeah. them. Yeah. But kick their ass. And losers. Then, and then not tag anybody, you know. <laughs> but you, you put the little the oh, watermark on it, right? Everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. So you got to hide it in there. You got to hide it in there or they can cut it off. You got to like, make it big and small. How do you how do you do the like the fade though like the you know your watermark fade that you do? It's I in a cap cut. You got to yeah. use a uh, oh. Can you opaque, make can you make a CBT or whatever? Can you make a CBT so we can go through it and do training? I can. Oh great, another fucking CBT. Fucking, no. <laughs> no. Put together an Excel file. Or Bro, actually, or fucking you know, PowerPoint. PowerPoint. <laughs> PowerPoint. <laughs> My PowerPoint. <laughs> and hey, listen. It doesn't get any. It doesn't get any better when you get out and go to these bigger companies. It's the same shit. They have right CBTs every fucking year. That's and only just, one company. No, no. <laughs> Northrop has it. GA yeah. has it. They're all the same company. Lock, they all have it. Oh yeah, yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> that's they that's very it. reassuring to know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you know when when. Uh, are you retiring or how far, how long have you been in? Actually, if you uh, want to just introduce yourself and take us through your background and all that yeah. bullshit. And... Uh, so like I said, I'm stoner. I joined in 07, still currently in. I hit 17 years in April. Damn. Uh, I started out, uh, on Raptors. I was on Raptors for 16 years. Uh, and then I just switched over to this fucking single engine turd of the 35. Mm-hmm. <laughs> welcome uh <laughs> yep uh but yeah I, I was stationed at tyndall for eight years from 07 to 15 Woo! <laughs> i did uh then i pcs to elmendorf from 15 to 23 and then just recently got to hill you're in the Sweet. 90s right i was in uh i had a, a pretty bumpy road in elmendorf i was in three different squadrons Mm. It was the uh, five two five MXG yeah. and the ninetieth. Damn! Well, at least Damn, you made dude, it all over the fucking probably. place. Hey, yeah. that's that's how it was at Tyndall, though. I was at Tyndall from what oh six to twenty eleven, and I was in the first, second, and ninety fifth. So, you know, I was in all three of those fucking fucking badass fifteen squadrons. I mean, yeah, <laughs> that's cool, man. What else? Uh, you know, not much. Uh, got a, a married with three kids. Uh, spend more time on the fucking road than at home, but it's hey, that's what we signed up to do. So, life of a rock star. Yep. I wouldn't say that. More of a groupie, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah. Uh, but but yeah, I mean, I every day I look back and I'm like, holy shit, I've been in almost for 17 years. Like, where'd the time go? Uh, yeah. what wouldn't trade it for the world, honestly. Like. Uh, every day, you know, we fucking curse at engineers and shit like that. Uh, but I am proud to be a maintainer. Uh, I don't think I could have done anything else in the Air Force to actually justify 
being part of the Air Force. I know it's kind of cliche, but like, I don't know, being a maintainer is something fucking different. Like you, you either are with it or you're not. Right. So, yeah, that was, uh, you know, I loved it, man. And I, I look back too, and like, if I would have stayed in, this would be my 19th year. Mm-hmm. So I would be so close, but Hey, I'm, I'm glad I got out. Cause you know, I get, I got to demilitarize. Cause when you get out, like when you first get out and you go into these like contracting companies, you're like, oh, super. <laughs> then they're like, Hey bro, slow the fuck down. <laughs> and they check you real quick. So right. You know, heads up when you do get out wherever you go, demilitarize. Cause like civilians, they don't put up with that bullshit. You know yeah. You make said, them look bad. <laughs> What's that? I said you make them look bad by doing work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you do. They're like, slow down, damn it. <laughs> yeah. I tell do. you what, who you couldn't make look fucking bad with those contracting wash dudes at Tyndall. Them dudes <laughs> put in work. Yeah. They were in it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they were mad whenever we used their uh, wash rack to, uh, you know, for shenanigans over at the second. Because we'd always leave or, the hoses out and shit and all, you know. Right. Uh, Beer, do you remember, I forget, I think uh, a certain individual got sprayed while towing a jet in the Coleman. Do you remember that? Were you on that weekend duty? At the bird bath or through the wash rack? No, at, at the wash rack. It was uh, old Willie J. Wolfpack Willie C? Willie J. Yeah, Wolfpack. Yeah. Willie J. Carter. Yeah, Wolfpack. Yeah. yeah. I think it was BT that, like, hosed his ass <laughs> in the Coleman. I, I, I don't remember it, but yeah, uh, I... I yes, if I can see it. Fucking love those shenanigans, dude. Good old speaking BT. Of, speaking of shenanigans, you've been <laughs> in for a long time. Uh you have any favorite stories you want to tell? Any oh. favorite fucking, you know, like hunting down new guys and fucking taping them to palm trees and shit, or like you know, th- that kind of stuff. I'd probably have to say one of stories. My, one of my favorite ones is actually hitting old Blackbeard over there, and we taped his ass to the smoke pit table yes. and then soaked his ass in ice cold water and he almost went into shock i believe he tried to kill me oh shit that <laughs> yeah. was the waterboard moment right that yeah was the waterboard yes. moment yes. <laughs> yep. i thought i was dying damn <laughs> i couldn't breathe it just gallons of water kept going down my fucking throat and it was yep. freezing <laughs> yeah we we had this uh this real skinny kid you know named josh or named bonds he follows us uh really super he was a stick man you know what i mean and so we picked him up and taped him up onto a palm tree like four feet up with duct tape <laughs> it was yeah. fucking awesome dude and then just left him there and then went out and there you know did what we had to do it was a friday so yeah we were kind of slow you know what i mean but hey man we'll see you on monday take care right yeah leave him there hey, man. the weekend you're here <laughs> exactly yeah uh, you want to tell the story about fucking new orleans Oh, where you caused the big issue? <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Let's hear it. You remember more of it than I do because I don't remember. Well, yeah, because you you were fucking blacked out drunk. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think I think we were in New Orleans like eight hours, maybe. Yeah, it was the first day. Like that yeah. night. <laughs> Is that when you got and, beat up? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're we're pretty heavily sauced on the strip and Jay looks at me or Beard Beard looks at me and he's like, We need to go home. And I was like Fuck man, I I guess we can get back to the van. Like we'll figure it out. And we're walking, and it was like a movie per se, right? These four dudes like come into the limelight of a streetlight, and Beard's like, you know, he said a word that most people nowadays don't take too kindly to, and it started with an F and with a T. Uh, we're not gonna get into that semantics, but uh, and I looked at him and I said, I don't really think that's a good idea, man. Like we're pretty outnumbered here. And he's like, I don't, I don't fucking care. And I was like, okay, I don't give a shit. That's that seems so, like his style. <laughs> so like, we go up to these dudes, and they're stone cold sober. Yeah, and he's just going at this dude. It's just getting escalated, and then I see one of them close his hand, and I was like, well, it's a, it's about to happen. And he got hit, and then I hit a dude, and then we blacked allegedly. out, and then allegedly, yeah. And then it happened so quick. Like it was, it was insane. And then it like, they all disappeared. And then here comes 30 of our buddies heading back to the van. I was like, 
Where the fuck are you guys at like 30 <laughs> seconds ago? Oh, shit. Yeah. And then the next day, he got an incentive ride just looking like a total smash bag of ass. Oh, that, that was a few days later. But yeah, yes. I had either, a either way. Black yeah, eyes for the whole fucking TDY so <laughs> and a busted was, nose. <laughs> that was during the uh, Hitler haircut days, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's funny. You know, you use that term <laughs> smash bag of ass or like bag of smashed assholes. It's funny because yeah. we're the like, I've only heard it from military individuals. I've never, you, I've used it in the <laughs> civilian world and people just look at me like, uh, that's pretty bad, dude. You know? <laughs> <laughs> A, but it just symbolizes years. like a go ahead. I was gonna say for a couple of years I worked for a, a big technology company and uh we'd be in there and everybody's wearing their suits and stuff, and I'd be like, This is a big bag of dicks, or this is a smash bag of assholes, and they just look at you like, What where the fuck is, why is this guy in here? <laughs> Who hurt you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> why why are you so mean to us? <laughs> <laughs> or you came you were we were i'm surprised we ever ran into each other because we were about the same time do you remember sergeant peak at 362 he's a black duty walk kind of funny oh you're talking about but, tech school yeah but anyway <clears throat> he uh he'd always come in and no like, you want you want to act like little boys i'm gonna treat you like little boys and so i'd come into morning meetings at that company and say that and they'd look at it like what 362nd i remember this only there's only one dude that i remember from there he was mtl sergeant reidner and he's like phase one day one he was such a fucking dickhead bro i don't know if he was there when you went through stoner in 07 but he was there in in 05 uh when i went through and he was such a fucking dickhead but he was cool too you know as soon as he saw that i was wearing like uh what the fuck? It was like a scumbag shirt. I think that's what it was called. Scumbag or something like that. That was sponsored like BMX. I guess yeah. he, he rode BMX and did tricks on bikes and jumps and shit. And he was like, that's fucking cool. Cause I'm sponsored by those guys. I was like, Oh, oh shit. shit. Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. So, but it was, that was another thing that was weird is to find out that they had lives outside of being air force. <laughs> Cause you thought that was just <laughs> yeah. all they did. Yeah. Right. Especially the ones that wore taps. You know, the little yeah. Oh my god, those fucking I don't guys. Think they had lives. I don't think they had lives. They probably walked around in their house with their taps on. <laughs> they probably <laughs> did. Underwear and taps. I kind of raise them now. <laughs> they're probably telling their like boyfriends and stuff, like, hold hold the video camera. I want to see, I want to see how I sound when I walk through. <laughs> Fuck, dude. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm surprised we never ran into each other. Because, like I said, I was at Tyndall for did. a long time. Because he, so we, he, we ran into each other a couple times. Yeah. yeah, like I hung out with Beard and uh, I was probably drunk. You know, I was probably oh yeah, I mean, hammered. like, and that's the crazy thing about Tyndall was that that's where like the first big breath of like camaraderie that I experienced. You know what I mean? And then you know we had a lot of dudes leave, and then it fell off dr- drastically you know what i mean oh, yeah. um and there was a lot of animosity when the 15 unit shut down to, mm-hmm. and they came over to the raptors and it just divided us even more but like whenever beard was there you know there was truman and um oh yeah oh old, old wp mike and yep. like it, it was just hubble. a good time yeah we oh, had yeah, hubble dude. on twice yeah Oh yeah, you know, we should have another. Well, oh, this is basically another raptor party. This is yeah. raptor party number four, dude. <laughs> I can't get any fucking fifteen guys to come on. Everybody's fucking scared, dude. I don't, I don't understand. I think it was because everything was back before cell phones, you know. And it's like, well, I mean, you can't get caught now. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Years uh, later, after last week, you mentioned uh, EC three, and then like a day after that, I saw somebody. I can't remember who it was. I think it was Brooks. Posted mm-hmm. a picture of him, and he's in like little in the, baby papoose. The baby carrier. Yeah, he's got Eddie's face on it. <laughs> Did you see? And he posted the. It was uh, Riley, Riley Coates. Coates? Oh yeah, he posted, he posted with, the uh, picture of with fucking Arnie Arnold holding him. <laughs> holding him with a fucking cargo strap strapped to his chest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You like, see that? That can that kind of shit out in the civilian world. It's like. These guys are fucked up in the head, but like that's just normal <laughs> shit yeah, in the military. It's normal everyday fucking business. Yeah, yeah a yeah. lot of people went down to the forty third 
uh, from when the first shut down, like I know that Sandy balls went down there. Um, San, uh, Sandoval, Sandy. Mm-hmm. I don't remember him or no. Uh, I'm sorry. Anderson. Sorry. Anderson. Sandy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Sandy. Oh, can't get right. Sam Anderson. Yeah. I call, I call him Sandy. Um, <laughs> let's see. Stick went down there. Uh, Fucking... there dude started with a K. Renee went down there. Yeah. Renee went down like early though. Um, yeah. Before they shut down. Right. Yeah. Way before they shut down. Cause he was in the 43rd for like a good chunk. Yeah. No. When the first shutdown, he went down there. The first shutdown late that. 06. I felt like I've worked with Renee for fucking like the whole time I was at Tyndall. No, almost. he went, he went down there after the first shutdown. Mm. And then, uh, who else went down there? Fuck. A bunch of people. Went what down the there. fuck was this? Didn't, uh, didn't Mark come from the first? Mark. Edwards? Mark? Probably. Yeah. Perhaps. But that would have been like before Red. Oh, yes. Mark Mark was there when I got there. He was expediting. Yeah. He was like one of my first expediters at the 43rd. <clears throat> yeah, and then a, a lot more went down when the second shut down. But I think there was a lot of retraining. Was there a lot of retraining from the 43rd where they sent seven levels to heavies? Because they sent yeah. a fuck ton of seven levels from the second to heavies down to like Dias and all that sh- bullshit, you know? Uh, yeah, because what was it? Uh Ken Allen left, uh, Roby left, uh, yeah. A.T. Lawson left. A.T. Lawson. Yeah. Yeah, a bunch of those dudes left to go do that shit. That's crazy. So, I wonder I wonder if there was a bunch of people that got out in that. Because of I it? I probably would imagine. Shred, you know what I mean? No, no, which is why they transferred a bunch of people over. Yeah. Right? Why would Why would there be? After, you know, uh, after Tyndall and Elmo is still total shit. <laughs> or yeah is that it? that is the it is the busiest ramp that i mean you know granted being on raptors you know Tyndall only had one unit and then elmendorf had two but they were separated mm-hmm. uh you have at hill you have three squadrons like butted up to each other and it's just chaos but it's is, good and it makes the day go by quick was it the fucking spiders right the black widows mm-hmm. the are the fujins over there still fujins yep and then what's the other one? Uh, the Rams. Oh, okay. The Rams reactivated then. Yeah. Right. Because they had shut ding down. Dong. Yeah. Uh, when I was at Nellis, we got a bunch of those 16s that came from Hill. When, oh, okay. Uh, it, but then a bunch went to fucking New Mexico too. Pieces of shit, bro. I mean, you'll have that in single engines. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Fucking. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so you went through 15 tech school also then, right? I did, yeah. Yeah, because they didn't. We didn't have twenty twos, and uh, but back in back in back then, which it's weird that you guys were talking about that earlier. Now it feels like two lifetimes ago, but uh, the the scary place was always Seymour Johnson. Nobody wanted to go to Seymour because everybody said the workload there. They just worked <laughs> you dead. Everybody was <laughs> like, "Don't go to Shady J." Yeah. That's why they call it Shady J. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You saw everybody trying to trade. When they when they got their orders, you know what I mean? They're like, Hey man, I'll trade you. Hey man, hey man, I'll trade you. Those fucking I was like, <laughs> Tyndall? God damn it, I don't want to go to Tyndall. But then uh I tried to trade with some guys from that were going to Lake and Heath or like uh Japan. And then I was like, God, I didn't go to Japan. But then again, I was like You love Tyndall. I I did. Tyndall was fun. It was, was so much fun. fucking time. The workload fucking sucked, but Tyndall was a, a blast. <laughs> that yeah. was where everybody, that's where we all came back to. So, like, I don't know how many fish I caught in that little thing by the queue with just hot dogs drunk off my ass, could not able to stand. <laughs> you know, it was so much fun. Yes, lots of shenanigans but, and dude, and going out, out right? dude, fuck going, around time, <laughs> going out to the beach and burying your beer, like burying your beer in the yeah. beach, and then just fucking around. Dude, it's so it was so good. Uh, like I said, we don't know what we had when we had. Yeah. It. Fuck. But I, I got orders. Somebody the other day about the uh, fiddler crabs out of the old water treatment plant. They were mm-hmm. they were everywhere, bro. When you're yeah, walking along the boardwalk and they're just like in herds, yeah. you're like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> or like when you're wasted on the beach and you're trying to catch those white ghost crabs. You know, you know which ones I'm talking about. 
Yeah. That would fucking hide in the holes. You're just like, oh, 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 fucking Blackbeard has a confused look on his face. I don't think you remember. No, I, I never really went down to the beach to drink. No? I stayed away was, from Panama City It was City so beach. fun. No. No, no. We're talking on base. About on base. On base. The, the only time I really went to the beach on base was like back by the water treatment plant to go fishing. Oh. Yeah, that's mm. exactly what we're talking about. No, no, I'm talking about. No, he's talking about the, just he's going down the beach. Down the oh, oh, yeah. Going down the boardwalk, I would take like a case of beer. Uh, oh, yeah, it's still on S- base. Yeah. By S- the dorms. Yeah. yeah. SPs yeah. would look at me like, oh, shit. This guy's about to get wild. <laughs> yeah, I have my boogie board, my fucking fishing pole, and my a case of beer, and then I go down there. And then when I'm trashed, I'm trying to catch ghost crabs. You know, they see me with a bucket. Fucking idiot. A bucket and a cast net going down that boardwalk. <laughs> Remember fucking having the squadron parties over there at Bonita Bay? Just getting having fucking getting wasted. Yes. Getting fucking. hammered. That shit was yes. awesome. <laughs> Stealing fucking uh what was his name? Elder, elder something. I think. I don't know. I stole his fucking jet ski and I ran it out of gas <laughs> in the middle of the bay. <laughs> Hell what, yeah. What's he doing out there? Oh, he's just he's just probably taking a shit. And nope, he <laughs> ran out of fucking gas. <laughs> Ain't got no gas. <laughs> Ain't got no gas in it. Uh, yeah, leave the fucking Blackbeard. Yar. <laughs> fucking ye old butt pirate to be out in the middle of the sea, no gas. Did you, did you try to or did you just give up? He he swam out there. Yeah, where you like to get it back. Uh, and like I was trying to help him. Fucking paddling back. Sloppy drunk. I was like just holding on. And like he, he's we're, throwing we're it back. Die. <laughs> you got surprising. it, bro. Just we're yeah. bringing it into land. Fucking Air Force <laughs> boats are out there if I can pick you up with the crane. Mm. <laughs> uh, I got fucking retarded sloppy at Tyndall multiple times. Like it was so much fun. Because no, no. that was really the only thing to do. Like, what were you going to do? Go hang out on a fucking yeah. PCV or just a house party? Yeah. I remember going, like, I would grab an ice chest with wheels on it and then go from dorm to dorm to dorm to dorm. I called it drunken TDY. You know what I mean? And then just fucking go drink their beer, but still have my beer. Well, yeah, those are walking beers. It was beers. awesome. It was so yeah. good. It was the so road fun. sodas. <laughs> Especially, like, what was it? The Nonner dorms. Right, so we had the quads, and then we had the other one, where you had like, over by the the old gym. Yeah, over by the yeah. old gym. Uh, I would go over there and then drink all their fucking beers because the honors would be they'd be like, "Oh, let's let's fucking party, okay." <laughs> and then on the way back, you'd stop by the security forces dorm, and that would get fucking wild. The shit would get broken, and then the cops would show up to arrest the cops. You know, <laughs> then you'd end up at the other one where the senior airman rooms are, you know, which ones I'm talking about, like right next to the quads, right across from oh, the CAC. Um, 1149. Yeah. It was, yeah. So. It was right across from the CAC. Yeah. It was right across from the yeah. CAC where they had a fucking day room. You go there and play ping pong or pool and shit. There was this one time where this brand new airman who couldn't handle his fucking alcohol drank like a handle of, of uh captain. And then just got fucking wild and crazy because he well, lost at a game of pool to girls, to some females, and then started smashing people's windows. What the mm. fuck? Yeah, started smashing people's windows. And then, like, three cops showed up. They came out, and he started to run. And then you see him go, boom, and then tase him. And he just fucking, <laughs> ah, and then, boom, face planted on the fucking pavement. Mm. It, he was... He was too far from the grass, bro, but it was it was yeah. fucking awesome. He had a bleeding fist and arm because he was breaking windows, and then you just see him, like, face plant onto the pavement. You're like, oh, shit. This is fucking awesome. You know what I mean? That dude's like, probably a chief somewhere. <laughs> probably. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was funny. It was a good time over there, and then quads, the quads, you know? Yeah, you, it was all inclusive. Like, you could either party in the fucking area right there in the middle or like you said just bounce back and forth between the dorms and it was great i lived down on the bottom floor on the inside right across from the gazebo so i would pull a chair out and my ice chest out and then turn my surround sound on and then i could see people coming down the stairs and i'm like hey hey let's drink hey let's drink and then like stoltz and pando and those guys would come over and we fucking drink jaeger bombs 
Jacob Bonds. Kinds, and then uh, <laughs> fucking um, Cheese from upstairs, um, Crawford, would come down all the time. Fucking, those are good times, man. I love that place. Yeah, you're you, you're right. We definitely forgot what we had and definitely miss it. Yeah. Because you'll never find that again, probably. Not in today's Air Force. Nope. Well, and and now that we're all grown up, uh, I wouldn't want to go back to Panama. I'd rather go to Eglin if I was going to be in that area, you know? God, I said that, like, once a week, stationed there. Like, fuck, why can't we just be stationed at Eglin? This place sucks. Yeah. It was nice. Uh, as a Eglin kid, was Panama really City nice. was, you know, in our early 20s, it was like the party. No, oh, this is awesome. And now I just like with quiet shit, like no stress. I don't want <laughs> kids throwing beer bottles and shit. I mean, you know? if you lived out in like out away from it, you know what I mean? Not in Callaway, but what was the other? It Sandy like, Creek. It was like right. You yeah. take Cherry Street all the way down. You know what I'm talking about? It's yeah. Cherry old Street. bicycle. Yeah. Old bicycles went to Sandy Creek. Yeah. Out yeah. over the, out over there. If you lived out over there. Cool. Great. Right. But like living in Callaway, we're pretty close. Uh, that kind of shit. Of course, you had those bars out there in Callaway, which is great. I call it yeah. the Callaway Beer Tour that you go to. You, um, you know, one of the where the ninety eight split. I would go mm-hmm. there all the time with uh, ben, old Benito, Benito and Momo, yep. and uh, I would drink uh, one of those buckets. You know, they had the buckets that they put the bottles in. I was like, if I could drink this whole fucking thing in uh, this amount of time, then I get it for free. They're like, yeah, okay, whatever, bro. So they filled an entire bucket up of like Natty Light. I just went to <laughs> town, man. It was awesome. That's a yeah, that's a mistake for a uh, to challenge that with a larger crew chief. <laughs> it was it was so awesome, dude. And then at I go karaoke in that place, and then you go to. What was the green building? I forget. What it was the green bar. Green oh. bar, yeah. We're like sports spins or sports something, but we just called it the green bar. The green bar, yeah. where they had all the fucking pool tables, right? Yep. Or and then big old tits work there. Yes. <laughs> like the yeah. first month I was at uh, Elmo, me and a buddy went out to uh, Sutton, and we took 120 beers with us, and we had a four day, and we're sitting there, and we're like. Bro, we got one beer left. It's like, dude, there's no way we have one beer. Somebody must have stole our beer. We, we can't have one beer left. Well, finally go to the truck, charge my phone up. It was the fourth day. We had drank all of our beers, and we had already we had went and got we partied with other people, too. We didn't realize we had been up for four days just solid drinking beers. <laughs> Hell, yeah. In the summer in Alaska, that'll happen. Yeah. Dude, the four days, <laughs> the four days at Tyndall were the best because those were the holidays where the class six would sell those 36 packs, like the Coors 36 packs that had the, the built-in ice ca- chest carrier, you know? What oh, I'm yeah. Talking about? Yep. Just, yeah. The bag. The yeah, they, the bag. They had the right? bag. So I yeah. would go buy like four of those. Yeah. I go buy like four or five of those for the fucking weekend and be set, bro. We would go party in the quads and then we go cabruin. Right, because we go We go out and go cabruin, and then we fucking go all all Fuck. over the other place. And I fucking probably ran into Jay and you, uh, fucking yeah. on those weekends. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, because I was out and about everywhere. Wherever there was a party, there was big red machine. Woo! <laughs> were nice. you were you on that canoe trip where Renee busted his hand? Yeah, <laughs> that was fucking. I don't even know how he did it. I don't know either. He just came up and he's like. <laughs> Uh, it hurts. Yeah, <laughs> he had to row back. Yeah, <laughs> it was him and his wife. Fucking... Yeah, there was this river that wasn't too far away. I think it was an hour or two that we go to Aqua, Aquafina. Aquafina yeah. is that what it was Aquafina. called? Yeah. You go to and yeah, you go was... fucking you go cabruin out there, mm-hmm. and it's like, uh, man, I just got hammer trash. The worst part about it though, is I lost a brand new pair of dragons. Remember dragon sunglasses? Remember those things? Yeah. I yep. bought those like 140 bucks. It was black and clear, but it fell in the river and I couldn't see it because they were black and clear. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Gone. Fucking I've, idiot. <laughs> I've lost glasses in that river too. But uh yeah. <laughs> dude, this one kid, he got so a bonds, he got so fucked up. He was just sitting on his like tube. And then you'd see him like running into fucking 
branches and shit like that, not paying attention because he was so trash, just like sitting there pissing on himself. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, wake up, bro. Uh, like, there's snakes in here. Yeah, because it would take you damn near all day to fucking tube that thing. Yeah. 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 And you'd see like moccasins and gators on the side. It was mm. fun. It was a good time. I yeah. Lo- I loved it. I would do it again. Let's go. Let's, uh, let's yeah. all meet out there and let's go again. <laughs> let's do it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck man, that was good times. I yeah. Built it back up any. Remember <clears throat> when they had? I don't know if they had the bars down at your squadron down the forty third. Yep. We had, the we had bars. Yeah. We had bars in the first and second. We had the red zone. And then I've talked about it on multiple episodes. But our commander stocked was it Amberbach? He filled up the kegs. There were like a couple Amberbox and then whatever. So every Friday, you know, being on swings, we would just get fucking hammered trash dude mm-hmm. it was so good bro <laughs> then you have the other guys you know they couldn't they couldn't drink you would drive us home or yeah you know you'd fucking uh i don't, I don't allegedly, you'd allegedly. Go home. allegedly. I, don't, I don't remember getting home but <laughs> you gotta drive like a pirate and close one eye so you're good you won't see double <laughs> hit those rubble trips they'll get you home <laughs> i lived in the dorms thankfully so you know it was like it go. was like right there Still had to cross, but it street, fucking though. sucked too at Tyndall because like you went out the maintenance gate, but then you had to cross ninety eight to yeah. go back yeah. through another fucking gate. Yeah, I guess they built a bridge now that goes over. Oh, good. Yeah, good. So you don't have to go in and out of the gates. Were, were Wait, you guys? That, was that pre Michael or post Michael? After it was like a month oh, or two okay. ago they opened it. Were any oh, of you shit, guys right. augmentees yeah. at the no. time? None of you guys did no. augmentee were duty over there. Okay, so I did for like six months. And uh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I had to drive. I drove one day uh, on that highway, fucking, you know, just patrolling, whatever. And they were like, there's this lady jumping out of a fucking car down the it was past the, the gate. And then towards like where the, the forest is or whatever, down towards Mexico Beach. Mm-hmm. Oh, OK, so I had to pass through both uh, intersections going fucking hoping not to get hit right in the fucking patrol car. Yeah, so I was like, I was like, oh fuck, oh, you know, kind of closing your eyes as you go through there because yeah. you know you got dumbasses going through there, especially like officers, you know, officers' wives are like, yeah, you fucking, yo, know, salute me like you salute. What do you mean I can't get on base? Yeah, dude, your fucking cat card's expired, dude. Sweet bitch, <laughs> doing augmentee duty is a different is a different beast, bro. Especially dealing with those people, but. I brought that up because of the we were talking about the intersection, just flying through there, dude. Like mm. I had to go through it once to go down there to go find them. Then they're like, "Oh, well, apparently we passed it because we didn't get a a description of the vehicle until we were like further down." So I had to fucking whip the bitch and go back through it, back up towards uh um the housing. Here's Bonita Bay, and then the mm-hmm. housing on mm-hmm. the right side, right? Yeah, that was and the then, hood housing over there. Yeah. Yep. So I had to fuck, we had to chase this fucking car down and then pull him over and then figure out it was like some lady who was suicidal and then some dude who had a bunch of warrants. So we had to fucking arrest them both and wait for like Bay County to come out and pick them up. So it was a good Did time. Did you chase them? I, no, I couldn't you carry a shot taser. Him. I couldn't carry a taser. <laughs> you think that was It would have been so fucking rad, but it was a good time. It was cool because like, I was going, I was like driving and the dude in the, in the uh, passenger side was like, fucking go, bro. I was like, huh? And so I just fucking mashed on it, dude. It was, uh, it was so good to <laughs> to drive a fucking air force cruiser. Allegedly. Allegedly. Blackbeard, do you remember Judy Chop? Yeah. So, yeah. uh, in a uh, hot, tra- we're still in hot training at Tyndall and he had CQ duty one night, but him and this other dude had met these 40 something year old chicks. Oh. And at the time, Judy's like 18, 19. <laughs> He's like, man, <laughs> what a stud. man, I, I gotta, I gotta go see about these, man. This is, might be the only chance I ever get to be with a cougar, man. I gotta try this out, but I can't, I got CQ. What am I going to do? I'm like, all right, well, I'll cover for you. What are the odds? So he's like, all right, you went in hot training. And, uh, so he, he comes to my room and he gives me his blouse top. And so 
it gets to be eight o'clock or whatever, and I go down there in the office. And sure enough, the MTL that walks in is our instructor. And he's like, hey, what's up, Biggs? I'm like, oh, hey, what's going on? And I just played it off. I was so scared. And like 30 minutes into it, he's like, hey, by the way, uh, we're just going to say Judy Chop. Judy Chop is supposed to work. And uh, I noticed you're wearing this blouse top. What's going on with that? You had a shirt on. <laughs> yeah, because I was trying to. Oh, we didn't think it was going to be our instructor that was the sergeant, you know. So, <laughs> damn dude, you I'm know what? Like, he, hey, he could have figured. He could have found some cougars. I mean, they wouldn't have been that. They're great. everywhere down there. Well, down yeah, that, or what was the? Everywhere. Well, and so these girls lived the in country Alabama. Bar. Remember so the country was past the mileage. <laughs> You're talking about Stetsons. Was it Stetsons? The that country yeah. that old in the fucking wooden country bar. Yeah. You know, yeah. I only went there once, and that's all I needed. I <laughs> did. I went there. <laughs> I went there a few times. It was fun. It was a good time. Like we were trying it to had leave. two stories. It had like a big yeah. open like dance yeah. floor, and then like balconies around it. Yeah, okay. yeah. That's I remember right. going. I remember going there multiple times. It was. Uh... Did they have a bull? I think they had a mechanical bull. In the... I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So I called him, and I'm like, "Dude, you got to get back. We're caught. We're found out." He's like, "Oh man." Well, I'm shit hammered drunk, so uh, I'm on my way. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and he was like two hours away, and somehow he made it in like 45 minutes. Comes sliding <laughs> into the parking lot. Yes, sir. I'm like, wow, bro, you reek. How'd you get through the gate? I just didn't stop. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that's, that's what I, I was just, getting to I with just that went. story. <laughs> I just went. Yeah, it was crazy how many people went out and got, uh, like a friend of mine, he went out. Well, Halloween night got all fucked, got all fucked up, and then rolled his car mm. uh, out in the boondocks, but wasn't in his car when the cops rolled up, so they couldn't put him in the car. That's they, they perfect. Still, they still took him to jail, which he called me at five in the morning. And was like, "Hey man, oh, uh, I need you to come pick me up." I was, I was like, "All right, where are you? Where are you, bro?" I'm like two hours away. Oh fuck, like fuck, dude. And then on the way back, it's like. You know, we're going to have to, like, call somebody about this, right? Or it's going to get worse. So we had to go straight to, like, the first shirt's office on a Saturday morning. Yeah, it wasn't a good time. But no. it wasn't a good time, but they never put him in the car. So he never got fucking charged. But did the Air Force fucking bend him over? So the Air Force tried to take it, right? The Air Force was like, hey, we want this case, right? Because we want this kid because he'd been in trouble before. Mm. Um. And so, but the county was like, nope, because this, hey, man, we ain't giving this to you because this is going to be some good money for the county. So, fuck you, right? So, apparently, they got him for, uh, fuck, I forget what they got him for, but, yeah, eventually he got, eventually. Probably, like, leaving the scene of a crime or something. No, it was something like bad conduct or some shit like that. They couldn't Mm -hmm. get him for anything else, right? Because he didn't leave the scene. Because yeah. he was still there. He was just outside of his car when the when the police showed up. So they couldn't put him in the in the in the vehicle, right? Yeah. But yeah. Was, so I had a buddy that uh Stone Cold Sober rolled his vehicle and uh it's right there. <laughs> oh yeah. I did. And, uh, on the way the home. The thing about that, you know, <laughs> if there's a wreck on the one and I mean, you can be late to work. It's the only way yeah. in and out. But I had got there early that day, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I still had to work. It, I all, shut down the whole Glen. It's because of all those tornadoes. You got saved, dude. Yeah, that's what saved me. <laughs> yeah, it's all those fucking tornado wrappers in there that saved the fuck out of you, dude. They packed the wound with the wrappers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, 17 years in, bro. Are you still enjoying yeah. a couple of tornadoes at the shop at now and again? Every once in a while, yeah. Every once Mainly in a while. now it's whenever whenever the kids want them. What's your there favorite you one? Which one is your favorite one? Oh, it's got to be like the sausage and egg breakfast one. Ooh, that one's yeah. a good one. I like the uh, the pancake, the French toast pancake one yep. you know what i'm talking about God. yep so good i just had four of them the other day actually oh perfect <laughs> four yeah. of them 
And uh, at one time, just put him in there. <laughs> yeah. So I, was at, I was at the shop at gas station getting ready to go to Arizona. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this dark shit. And then went and grabbed like four tornadoes and uh, rain instead of because I usually drink a monster with them. I grabbed a rain, 300 milligrams of caffeine and four fucking tornadoes. You know, I didn't think about Except it. Except for the day, bro. Or the uh, buffalo chicken. I bet that's oh, why yeah, those are good. Bread so good. Probably. Those are pretty Damn. good. Yeah, they're delicious. Chevron has tornadoes, and that's I had one of the fucking. Pancake. Are they bigger ones though? No, they look the same size. When did you have one? A few weeks ago. And you the didn't first post time, it. You didn't it post it. The first it. time I had the the sausage and pancake one. I tried to post it on the page. Like, remember the last time I did, I posted the purple yeah. monster with the, I think it was like six tornadoes. But... <laughs> all of them. You just grabbed <laughs> them like, all. <laughs> dude, yeah. if you don't get there and get them from the shop at here on here at Camp Eddie, bro. Yeah. They're gone, dude. At lunch, like I would, I would get all of them. Anyone that was left. Yeah. I'd grab them all. Those are <laughs> <What>? hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I'd buy them out yeah. all their hot dogs. <laughs> The hot dogs. If you're like just in the it. car, one biting them. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like to do the uh, grab a bag of chips and then fucking fill it, fill the chili up there. Oh yeah. You know what I'm talking about the mm-hmm. chili dispenser, the chili and cheese. Man, That's Chef Ed is so bad for diets, bro. But so <laughs> fucking good. <laughs> so when good. I would, uh, when I was on mids, I would wait hang around the shop for like an hour after I cut back or I got you know turnover. Just so I could get the fresh ones that they had just just mm. got finished. Mm. Yeah, if you get there at like five a.m. though, like five thirty, they're fresh, 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 yeah, super fresh. But now they have a pizza joint in there too. They also have like a little. They fucking, do. They wow. have like a pizza stand in there that you can hmm. order the pizza on your phone and go pick it wow. up. They yeah, I've seen them. like Air, I've seen airmen who live in the dorms here that. Uh, we'll roll in like, hey, I ordered pizza, and they'll fucking grab a pizza. Because hmm. it's at the shop edu. Yeah. Chope. Chopetti. Sh- shop edu. <laughs> That's the staple of all military lives. Yes. Hey, man. So, when you visit, if you visit Edwards, dude, you fucking go there, bro. Have you right. ever been? Have you been to Edwards? No, I kind of despise California, but. <laughs> It's not for, you know, any certain reasons except for it's California, but uh, I probably wouldn't mind going out there just to check it out. I've heard a lot of cool shit about Edwards, but well, yeah. we'll see where the road takes me. If you plan on staying on 35s after you get out, we'll see you here. <laughs> You'll suck you in. <laughs> we'll see you when you get here. <laughs> you get trapped. <laughs> yeah, either that or Fort Worth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Fort Worth. I don't know. It was me. weird. Oh, there you go. Like, it was weird. Uh, a couple months ago, before we left, uh, an Alaska Raptor came down for depot. And for the first time in my career, I was like, shit, I don't know if I'm allowed over there. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So I walked over, or I drove over there, and I was talking to the guys, and they're like, how much time you got left in the military? I was like, oh, a little over three years. And they're like, call us when you fucking retire. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're going to try and fucking get you in, Could bro. You? Was yeah. it? I'd be all right it? with that. Was it Lockheed Martini? Yeah, I think so. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but, you'll see a lot of guys when they're starting to get out. If they're around contracting companies, mm-hmm. they'll go over there and start, like, trying to be buddy, Poaching. buddy, buddy, buddy yeah. best friends. Like, uh, GA, uh, when we were deployed at, when I was in the desert, you'd see guys who were at Holloman, who were, who were, um deployed there too they would come over and then like start you know hey schmoozing the fucking um site leads and stuff and trying to be friends you know hey what's up like, yeah oh, hey what's up guys or or over at nellis when i was at m1 you'd see active duty active duty guys who were about to retire come over and start you know hey shaking hands hey, what's up hey man you know <laughs> fucking but well, i mean you, you've got a network huh yeah. I was gonna say, as much time as his as he's got, uh, you'd be surprised at the amount of people you know that are in positions to help you with stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, start yeah, network, yeah. start networking now, dude. Be like, hey man, you know, I'm looking to get out. Uh, you know, and if you, I mean, if you want to stay in that shit, cool. If you don't want to stay in that shit, cool. But 
we'll see how the, the end of the road takes me. So, I mean, it's been a pretty busy uh, past 12 months. Like I said, when I last year at Elmendorf, I deployed in November, got back in April, fucking PCS, rolled down the hill, and then we left in November again. So it's like, I haven't had really much, too much time to sit down and set roots. So, but yeah. it'd be all right. Do you have your degree? Any degree done? Huh? You have a degree done. Never heard of her. Fucking yeah. get school cool. done. I know. Yeah. I know. Clip it, okay. Man. When we're in, listen, when we're in, I call that. when we're in, everybody fucking tells you, you know, you're always like, yeah, fuck school. I'm going to go out here and <laughs> stay on the flight line. But when you get to a certain point, like I've been, we've been in this business, like Blackbeard and I have been in this business for a long time. Okay. In the contracting world, you get to a point where you have to have the degree in order to move. Yeah. Okay. Not in the, not in, not where you were. Right. But on the E side where I'm at, you have yeah. to have a degree to move. If you want to be right. an engineer, I don't want yeah. to be in the L world. <laughs> I want to be in the E world because that's where they make all the money and that's what runs a company. Right. Whatever. That's like, whatever. Whatever like, you keep, have to let's tell yourself. Be real. Let's be real. They, they model, they put the company around. They act like e they run the place. E codes. Okay. The and codes they make they make, make more happen. money okay they make it happen but they don't realize that they always just cater to the engineer side so like like just even like ccaf like whenever i was yeah. doing all that uh back then you couldn't the only thing i had to actually take was a speech class but now i've heard you can actually clap a speech class too yeah you can yeah. yep you can and like having it having it done you're just you're a better candidate because you have the real world experience. You've already got the vocational stuff yeah. and then you've got your degree. Then you're just like, oh, let's go. You know what I mean? Yeah. You now, to... now that like when I, when I got the Hill, I got put in, uh, I'm an exploiter now, finally. So Ooh. I'm not necessarily yeah. grinding every day. So when I actually get back to Hill, I'm going to no shit, set a, a goal down to actually like complete at least my CCAF for the time being. So get that shit you, done, uh, bro. Do you blast shit done. It's harder when you get out, truck. man. It's harder when you get out because you get older. You're I, just like, God damn it. Yeah. I don't remember this stuff. Yeah. Uh, but but yeah, it, it'll get done. I mean, you know, everybody says that, but you're right. You're not the only one who's told me that. So it, it just needs to happen. I just need to be in a fucking spot at home for at least six to eight months to figure shit out. So hell yeah. Yeah, you're gonna make rank again. Yeah, or you could do what in. Hubble did. Hubble <laughs> Hubble did a 180, right? And he's going Disney going IT shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's going way away from airplanes. Yeah, he's that like, dude used he's to like, fuck crush airplanes. beers. Yeah. <laughs> he used to crush beers and now he's a fucking computer nerd. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sober. <laughs> he doesn't drink anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and he's got hair. Like, yeah. come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Hubble. You're a good dude, man. I know. Yeah, we'll fucking bring him on again. We'll bring all you guys on again if you want. We'll be yeah, a 43rd down. gathering. Dude. <laughs> Hornets. There you go. God, that shit, that shit was so lame when they would say that. I'm like, Hornets, get we, stung! We bone <laughs> yeah. our own, right? <laughs> yep. Dude, that fucking patch, though. Whoever made the patch with the, with the wasp bummer. and with the dick and balls. You know what I'm talking about? You know which one I'm yeah, talking I've about. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah. Fucking so awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I was a drive by your guys' squadron in the Coleman. Be and jealous yell, and drooling. And, and no, I, wish I, would I was yell, a Raptor guy. I would I yell wish. obscenities. I would yell obscenities at you guys, and then I'd be like, "Star screen," <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, because it's fucking transformer. So you know, I was a, I was an idiot though. <laughs> Still am. But it was a good time. Man, I think one of the craziest things I remember about the 15s being there is you remember when it hit that light post? Yeah. 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 And that fucking that it just yeah. laid on that canopy and was like, what the yeah. hell's going on here? Yeah, that guy was a lead instructor pilot, dude. <laughs> so he was a lead instructor. Now, I don't know. You've been doing this for fucking years. Were you looking at porn on your fucking brand new iPhone? What were you doing? In yeah. Or to fucking yeah. Or uh did you hear about the us towing to the hush house and pulling a landing gear out of the front? I heard about that. Yeah, I was on that toe. That was a great toe. Hell yeah. Um, was not a great toe. 
It was, dude, <laughs> it was like fucking 5.36 in the morning. Last thing we had to do on mids before we went home. It was like, all right, let's go. Boom. Wheel hit the fucking sand because he turned it too sharp. Just Were sunk. you souping? No, I was a wing walker on the on the left side where uh on the opposite side of the tire that that went into the sand. Right. And he just he, the people in the Coleman couldn't hear him. Hear, couldn't hear the whistles or whatever, I guess. I don't know. But he was just like Rrr! and then you just saw the fucking nose gear come out like a toothpick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the craziest thing was the fucking the brake rider was out of the aircraft before the motherfucker hit the ground. So I don't know. I don't know how he flew out, whatever, but he was on the ground <laughs> as it's bouncing. Oh, go, shit. Go, 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 go. Like we were even yeah, almost for the, uh, I know who it was, but I'm not going to say the names, even though we did it. But uh, they went to do a tow and they didn't move the, the vent thing, the APU vent in the slots. Oh, hit the, the tail? <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, it put a gash like ten inches deep into that vert. <laughs> that was that big guy. What the fuck was his it name? Was, it was Spud and Coonsmore. Yeah. and I can't remember Spud. who else. <laughs> yeah, there was there was one more recently done up there that. Did you tell your your story about your tow job? I heard about that. Uh, <laughs> At Elmo, <laughs> Blaine was I telling will admit, me about I, it. Who was Blaine? He said there's oh, a video. <laughs> oh yeah, I got the video, dude. Like in all the years, like all the stupid shit that we did at Tyndall and, and everything, right? You know, I never expected to get in trouble the way that I did for that tow when I really had nothing to do with it. I was a tow driver, right? Fucking good dudes on that tow, you know what I mean? It's just it, like you were saying, uh, red is the last thing we had to do on fucking mid shift. Uh, always I, that's always the fucking widow maker dude right there yeah it's always yeah. Is. we so towed a jet happens. out of fuel barn we towed a jet out of fuel barn and like uh i don't think when you guys were at elmo the 525 had like open parking next to the kennels um so we were towing a jet there fucking pulled it in i stopped super got out i'm driving right and sitting there waiting for him to check the tires and tell me to roll forward or whatever and all of a sudden, I hear like a fucking loud knock, and I look back, and the jet's rolling into the ditch. Oh! <laughs> uh, oh no. shit! So, tow bar connected or anything, or just the so, so the tow bar was connected. Like he disconnected it from the tire. Oh! Oh! And I was like, "What the fuck? No chalk? <laughs> no chalks? It just Jesus Christ! What was he thinking? Damn, dude, fucking <laughs> rookie, bro." Who the fuck is that toe super fucking rookie motherfucker? Like I said, man, shit just happened. So one time uh, we're sitting in the truck up there and first goes are coming back on day shift. And I'm I'm leaning up there, looking around, I'm right by the, the expediter. I'm like, hey, bro, is that jet missing a panel? He's like, holy shit. And it was coming back. And uh, I forget what it is, but it's on top of the number one. There's that big panel. And... Uh, <laughs> whole panel it was in supply oh. <laughs> when we finally found it <laughs> that sounds oh, like shit. uh that sounds like caruso yep you see the screw bag like, yeah uh, man whoops <laughs> oh. yeah we would get uh i remember doing eor and then the fucking we sent up a jet and then they called me at the eor fucking check hey there's a panel missing did you see it when you fucking launched it i'm like <laughs> yes it was there be in my office. Oh shit! <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, uh, good times. Apparently, it flown off in flight. Uh, oh, it wasn't perfect. that. It wasn't that big. It was the. Uh, I don't know. Well, you guys have never worked fifteen, so was it the so. silver dollar you, panel? You work fifteens. You work. Was 15s. it the silver dollar panel on the bottom? Well, there's a bunch of them. There's like four of them. On no, the it was where you hooked the ECS. I thought on that the, was a door. That was ECS. a door. Yeah. Yeah. So that came off in flight. Oh, oh shit. I gotcha. <laughs> Somehow, yeah, the, some way, the door with the pushy latches. Yeah, the little yeah. releasers. They came off in flight somehow, some way. Yeah, it happened. Did you see it? Was it there? Yes, it was there. It's still, of course, it was. It's still in Red's it scrounge bag in his closet <laughs> 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 to this day. Yeah, yeah. So I they they kept me on EOR for 
so a few more months Ever. after that. <laughs> a few more months. After. <laughs> Gotta make sure that that shit's there. All right, stay on EOR. Yeah, I mean EOR was cake, dude. That shit was it, so fun, bro. Nobody's out, out there messing run. with you. Get out, go run, and especially like during the winter when it was like seventy-five degrees, I could just yeah, go fucking just cold. Look. I could go so lay cold. around out on the pad, you know, out on the fucking pad when nobody's out there, just kicking yeah. back uh, with my head on a chalk, you know, waiting for fucking <laughs> airplanes to come in. Allegedly, allegedly. You know? yeah. So I think crazy. the worst thing at Tyndall was doing pits. Yeah, it would never end. Oh, d- yeah. down over there by the by the trim pad, the right? Before the trim pad, yeah, right yeah. before the trim pad. And, and it was always at like fucking 12, 1 o'clock when the sun's yeah. just beating down yeah. on your ass. The you're best. just like, oh, this is miserable. That's the best. EOR and Cac Duty, I'm going to say, are my, one of my favorites. Cac Duty was pretty fun, yeah. Cac Duty. Yeah, That's that great. was a good... Being at the CAC was fucking awesome, dude. Yeah. And the, the Panama schedule we had? Yeah. It's a combat so alert, I ne- Red. So uh, I never did a full, like, uh, rotation up there. I just filled in. But, yeah, I could I could have got used to doing that shit. That's, I did, like, six of them while I was up there. And the, the first one, they, they're, they're like, okay, you're going to the CAC. And I got there, and they were like, you haven't even so you're, you're an A1C. Why are you here? Nobody's ever been an A1C here. They're like, well, he's here. Let's see how he does. I mean, would you... <laughs> it's pretty simple. <laughs> it's pretty relaxed. You got was you that... got you got there and you were like, did someone say cog? <laughs> no, fucking when I went to the CAC, Billy hooked me up because I failed the PT test and Chief was about to fucking kill me because I failed it. <laughs> and fucking Billy's like, You're going to the CAC. You need to go hide out there <laughs> before the chief sees you're you. To, you're going to the cog. <laughs> was that Chief D? Devit. Yeah, Devi. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it was. Were the... you? Were you? Did you? Uh, did you do the combat alert center on fifteens as well, or just Raptors? Just Raptors. I yeah. Just well, Raptors. I know you did. Oh, yeah, just, just Raptors. Raptors. Okay. Yeah. Oh shit! So Ellendorf was your first base. Well, I was. I was supposed to be at Tyndall, and then I went to. I ended up going to. So basically, it ended up being my first base. But oh, it was. Yeah. Uh, and when I got there, it was. They were just. Uh, like the day after I got there, they left launched out the last 15 at the 90th. So they still had okay. the 12th and they still had the 19th. And when I got there, it was uh, 12th. And then for like three days, then they sent me to the 19th for like four days. And then they're like, oh, you're supposed to be at the 90th. And so then that's how it worked out. Nice. But you yeah, when probably I was, at Shepherd together. That's what, that's what, what I was saying. I'm surprised. When did you, you, when did you go to, through tech school? Um, let's see. It was uh the beginning of 08. Oh uh, yeah, I was already done and gone. I was already at Tyndall. Because I got to Tyndall in November of 07. I remember when I first saw you, you know, wet behind the ears. Mm-hmm. It was that fucking when Stoltz and Fleming were living together. Yep. Yeah. Oh fucking Fleming. <laughs> yeah, because he just flipped his fucking car. Or no, Stoltz, Stoltz. flipped his car, yeah. Yeah, Stoltz yeah. Yeah. wrecked that uh it was a 350Z with Fleming. 350, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is it the same Fleming I know? No, no, no. Different guy. Yeah. Had a big ass fucking scar on his head from wrecking that damn car. Yeah. Didn't didn't he try and sue Stoltz? Yeah. He's I think he did sue his insurance or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why would you sue sue Stoltz? Stoltzy boy. Oh yeah. Stoltz. Love that guy. You yeah. guys remember Buffo? Buffo, no. No. So I was friends with that guy in tech school and we were like, oh yeah, we're both going to be at Tyndall together. And then switched my shit and I talked to him a couple months later and he was like, they hate me, man. They, this is just not the job for me. And so I guess they put him uh, checking out tools and uh, at Tyndall? Finished, yeah, he finished his whole deal in support and never went back to the flight line because they didn't like him and he didn't like it. He must, have been, on 15, he must have been on 15s. He was a 15 yeah. guy. I oh, okay. Know, I don't know where he was at, but he was a, a blonde kid, and he was jacked. It was funny because he just lifted. That was like his whole life was lifting weights, and his last mm. name was Buffo. <laughs> Buffo. Mm. Like the, only, the only jack dude I remember. <laughs> the only jack dude I remember is uh, who was that dude doing steroids? Yeah. He was a fifteen cat that came down. De- uh, Deweese. Oh, you're thinking of uh, Delatre. No, not not Joel. That's the only like fit dude that I remember. 
Oh, then he must have he must have came down after you left. Deweese. So. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know Deweese. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, I heard yeah. Elmo's got a uh so what we used to do is get all the kids that were in the dorms, we'd get all their numbers. And then for lunches, somebody would take off and go get all the lunches in one of the trucks and bring them back. And somebody a few weeks ago was telling me now there was a uh, like a flat kitchen or something that they built. Yeah, it's right you, next bro. to the hey, it's right next to the 90th. You can't compete with yeah. the Q. Cannot no, big, the Q big worms. No. Good try, good try, bitches. It was the, not as the good Q as was fucking top notch for what it was. Yeah. That's right. And when I when I left, they were about to finish up. They were building something on hotel row. I don't know if it was more slots or what. Yeah, there's there's two rows of slots up there. Only the new ones and the old ones. The new mm-hmm. ones fucking take forever to open the doors. Yeah, and the heat don't work in them half the damn time. <laughs> remember those? Remember those palm trees by the queue? Remember those? Yeah. Have those yeah. little fucking airplanes, the uh, the prop jobs, and the Mickey little mouse, mouse, the palm yeah. trees. So yeah. those palm trees were right behind Baker Row, and guys who were running jets would try and blow those allegedly. We try and blow Blood those blood. fucking palm trees out <laughs> <laughs> when they did, you know, when they scavenge, right? Because one hundred, yeah. you got to scavenge, dude. Come on, mm-hmm. you got to scavenge every, every engine, no every what engine, every engine, yeah. <laughs> bro. You try and blow the fuck out of those palm trees, and you just yeah. see them there, <laughs> hoping that they go over. Never went over. Never went over. Somebody's toolbox went over on their on their feet and ankle, but you know, hey, who uh, was it that blew the door off the forty third beard? <laughs> well, I don't, I don't the know. sliding the sliding fucking was it the support door I, it was one of my th- yeah. yeah i thought it was eller it might have been yeah oh man yeah because yeah, he was on what was that row charlie row charlie row yeah right in front of the squadron yeah <laughs> just giving her the beans <laughs> dude that was the worst the, okay so you guys were down there the worst part was having to push a box all the way down there. From we felt we, the same way when we had to go to fucking hangar one or two. Yeah, we had to push a box from hangar two because mm-hmm. we had to go when we were they were loading lives or whatever. Or if we were like transferring a jet, we couldn't go yeah. get anything from hangar five, so we'd have to fucking hoof a box all the way yeah. down. God damn it, fucking <laughs> assholes! <laughs> and then they make the fat guy. They make the fat guy do it. Like Arn, you need. You need this exercise, so just go fucking do it. You guys are dicks. Mm-hmm. As you see, like, age drive by with an empty low boy, you're like, you yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah. It's like, Flipping on, you off as they drive hey, by. Hey, can Fuck you help? You. Be like, hey, dude, hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, bye. Fuck you. you know? <laughs> like, get fucked, Airman. Cool. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Everybody drives past you in the expert truck pointing and laughing. Yeah, basically, you're like, throw me a monster. You need water. You don't need monster. I need a monster. You're right. Yeah. I'm squirting you with the wash fluid. <laughs> yes. Do you I remember think, uh, beard? Do you remember whenever uh old little Tony picked up that truck magnet and threw it at Eller? TBT? Yeah. The truck magnet <laughs> no, from the I front? Don't. Yeah. That would hang I'm off so, the front. I'm oh, surprised yeah. you picked it, that up. <laughs> Cause and you know, it's hot in Florida and Eller threw a bucket of water on him and he got fucking mad. Dude, picked uh, this fucking magnet up and just you <laughs> our expediters like fucked with the with the windshield washers yeah. on the on the truck. So whenever they drive by you, they just fucking yeah, squirt the shit it. out of yeah, you. Yeah. You're like, God damn it. Or you'd have guys in the back that would bring fucking, you know, those those water sprayers to work allegedly. Yep. They would be in the back of the fucking expediter truck, just spraying the shit out of you as you're driving by. <laughs> yeah, the bug sprayers. Yeah, down the 15s, yeah. man. We had uh, there was a lot of shenanigans. A and B flight, we would like, uh, they would be stopped, and so a group of us would go into the B flight truck and then, um, capture their expediter basically and like pull him out of his seat and then fucking throw him in the back of the truck, and so then you'd see B flight fucking come back and then get you know get revenge and then take somebody out right you know. And then you yeah. see us fucking wrestle on the flight line. I don't know how the fuck we got away with it in front of like officers and shit like that. You know what I mean? Or like you see the wing king driving around in his fucking car. I don't know how we got away with all that bullshit, but they didn't care back then. They didn't <laughs> yeah, care just different time. It was like, look, look, <laughs> they're all having fun. That's a team. Yeah. That's a team right there. You yeah. know, like, or like 
undoing people's wheels, you know what I mean? Uh, or the frame. So when they yeah. pushed it, the fucking box would come off the frame. <laughs> Oop. Oh shit. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Tools everywhere. Mm. Fucking support. So good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Uh. Yeah, or like accidentally kicking over, or I mean, uh, hydro buckets falling yeah. over. You know what I mean? Or fuel buckets falling over. <laughs> Whoops! You're yeah. like, oh, oh shit! Like, that's sure not is supposed to happen. Today. Not supposed <laughs> to happen. <laughs> Or the like fucking, when the Bowser would be nowhere in sight. <laughs> it's always like the opposite side of the fucking flight line. You're like, fuck, I don't want to go over there. Especially when it rained. <laughs> Especially when it rained, because then you're yeah. just like, oh, I mean, it did washed away. You know, it, yeah. it blends in, right? Because you yeah. don't know. Oops. It's back to the earth. <laughs> so yes. I accidentally kicked it. And I don't know what happened. <laughs> or people would let fuel tubes uh, fall out of the airplanes yeah. you know what I mean? because we had to catch we had the big plastic fuel tubes that we had to fucking put in the bottom uh yeah and they would just like let them fall out and then oh oh no oh, oh there goes the <laughs> Oops. what do we do what? Yeah. i don't know what happened <laughs> did you guys find any like crazy like animals or crazy anything on the flight line or underneath airplanes at all ever that wasn't supposed to be there I never really did. No. Frogs. No, there's frogs, frogs yeah. like everywhere frogs. at Tyndall. But... We found out. I found, I found a weird snake in Guam one time. And I was like, oh, I'm not fucking touching that thing. Like, it was curled up in the fucking chalk and shit. And I was like, yeah. nope. Yeah. So, so That's fucking Mikey's there. trouser snakes. <laughs> we, we, we got there one time and everybody went out hog hunting. And yeah, it was, it, was yeah. Like, it was like Friday, and so when somebody somebody was in the woods with uh, and they found this snake and they killed it, they brought it back. Oh, like normal hog hunting or like yeah, like hog real hog like both. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, whale, I thought, I thought it was hogs. other hog hunting. <laughs> so then we I thought it was string. other hog hunting. We took a string and I would knock on people's door. And then I had that string going up through the, the stairway. And when they would come out, I'd pull the string and the snake would pop up. And we did that to like everybody. And I uh, just thought it was hilarious because we're smashed drunk. <laughs> and then Monday, we had our safety thing, you know, everywhere you get to. And they talk, and it was a brown tree snake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so all weekend, we're wasted playing with like one of the most deadly snakes on the planet. And then we found out later. <laughs> goddamn, goddamn safety brief. <laughs> yeah dude uh so hog hunting bro we figured out or our instructor in tech school told us what hog hunting was right come from arizona never heard of that shit he told us what hog hunting was not hog hunting but you know hog hunting well, yeah. uh, and fatties. so and so we yeah. named our we named our uh class the hog hunters right because <laughs> we were always talking about hog hunting in as shepherd like we'd always make a plan yeah go out Someone take one for the team, and then we'll just hook our fucking trailer up to a truck and drag that shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> but the instructor was like, the instructor was like, yeah, you just, your buddies go in and steal all of our shit. You don't got to steal a trailer. It's like, well, I mean, stealing a trailer is basically stealing all of it. Anyways, yeah, that's where she lives. <laughs> anyways, we were yeah. getting our, our class pictures, and so the picture lady was like, hog hunters, uh, what, is, what does that mean? The instructor was like, stopped us. Really quick, and he's like, they they really hate A tens. They just really hate A tens. That's why. That's, <laughs> they, nice really, cover. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a real quick cover. But it was funny. It was a good time. So we would always joke about going hog hunting over at Stage West, you know, and all that other shit, and fucking Shepherd. It was Dragon it's, Dragons West. As many times as I went right. to Fatties in Alaska, Stage West, dude. I don't remember the real name of that bar. I don't either. We just Where? always called it in Alaska. There's a there's a bar there everybody calls Fatties, and because uh, that's what's there. <laughs> yeah, uh, is the woolly boogers out there? And uh, actually, they know, closed that bar. Mm. Yeah, uh, fucking COVID ruining his country. Oh damn, man! Killed hey, Fatties. Listen, <laughs> another <laughs> fatty. <laughs> the kokanee stopped flowing, bro. And you can go over to the other province, dude. <laughs> Yeah. And there was uh there was that other bar that's like four bars in one and it's the uh it's like a lot of oh, homies coots 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 yeah and uh our pro super 
Uh, we called him Moose. He was probably gone by the time you got there, but uh, I think he probably. Retired. But a uh, huge dude, almost my size. And uh, he would wear the bike riding gloves with the hard plastic, and he was the bouncer there. Mm-hmm. And so uh, there was one time I showed up, and he's like, yeah, you can't come in. You got to go sober up. So I walked across the street, stood in the parking lot, smoked a cigarette, and I came back. I was like, I feel sober. He's like, no, you, like tomorrow you can come. You're not coming <laughs> in today. I'm like, okay. So I got my truck and I drove home. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly. And then another time, Alleg- Allegedly. Yeah. And so then another time I was up there and he let me in and I didn't even start anything. Somebody else spilled the drink on me. And I I'm was sure. To be cool. I'm sure, Mikey. Did you lose your glasses <laughs> so, again? Well, I didn't glasses lose my again? Glasses. Well, here he shows up and he's like, I'm going to have one of my guys escort you out. And this is, it's hard because you, you haven't seen me in real life. But so I'm almost seven foot tall and he's got this midget walking behind me, kicking me and cussing the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> That's who kicked me out of coots. Was it a midget or just a normal size person? No, it was yeah. an actual midget that worked there. <laughs> For real ankle he, biter. Yeah, Moose was just following us, laughing his ass off. So, uh, Stoner, any, I know that you've already told us a couple of funny moments, but you got like one TDY that sticks out after Jay and after you have anything after that? Like within, uh, the, la- within the last, what? Because you left when? When did you leave there, Blackbeard? When I left Kendall? When, when did you or when did you stop working with them? I left Tyndall in 2010. Yeah, 2010. Um, okay, I remember post we were 2010. Yeah, we were TDY to 10 or not? Uh, was it New Orleans again? Mm-hmm. And this we had a fucking red ball for Urkham doors, and of course weapons didn't have the breakout box in the truck with them. And this dude comes running out, not even paying attention. He's just fucking running with the box. And he runs del- directly behind the exhaust and like just ass over tea kettles, dude, in the fucking on the asphalt and just fucks his shit up. And I was like, that is by far the greatest moment I've ever experienced in my life. Shit. That's <laughs> Especially because awesome. it was a weapons troop, dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <a> fucking idiot. <laughs> Damn, dude. That's fucking great. Hmm. But yeah, like luckily, you know, being at J Bear, I was able, I've, I've been able to experience the world, but probably the coolest tdy I was on was we did the air show in singapore in 2018 and that was fucking dope hell yeah that's, that's cool, cool man. so yeah do okay do the shop do the tornadoes taste the same at each shop at that's a tough question i'm gonna have to go no interesting mm. or each base do they taste the same because i know that we had tornadoes at the queue and those mm-hmm. were delicious yeah but then you go to the shop at at tyndall and it was glorious yeah. Right? Uh the ones here are okay. And the ones at Nellis gave me food poisoning. Okay. So perfect. They've right. So they're different. Okay. Yeah. So I'm asking you because like I've been at other couple bases and you've been, you know, the they gotta have a shop at where you're at, right? Yeah. Now? Yeah. So okay, have you had a tornado from there yet? Yeah. So they don't taste it, the same. Nope. I asked I don't uh, know if it's if it's something they put on the rollers or what, but it's yeah, yeah, it's not the same. The grease of rollers with I asked mandatory fun day uh when he was live on when he was doing a live the other day if tornadoes on Air Force Base or on Army bases taste the same as Air Force bases. And yeah. he was like he he said the question, he's like, No, they just taste more expensive when they're over at an Air Force. The Air Force. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the yeah. high class ones. I keep bugging yeah. him, dude. I keep bugging him to try to get him on the podcast. Like I've emailed mm-hmm. him, sent oh, that'd him be at, dope. I've sent yeah. him, I've DM'd him. And I've hit him up on his fucking lives, dude. I'm trying to get him. I'm trying yeah. to get him, bro. I always thought the uh I don't know. I, I think I bought most of my tornadoes at at Elmo uh on Fort Rich. You know yeah. what? That's right. It was on the way yeah. out is when I'd get yeah. all my tornadoes. Was the yeah. army base? I would always go out. Yeah. yeah. Go out so the they place. you got army tornadoes? Yeah. yeah. Well, it was joined together. It was one, like yeah, it they was, joined. They joined based on Dorf Richardson. It was a blue green, blue green. Oh, nine, I think. Tornadoes. Yeah. Because when I got there, it was still Elmo and Fort Rich. It was Jesus. after I, it was, had to have been after 10 because it changed shortly after I got there to J Bear. Oh. Interesting. Yeah. And then Navy bases, uh, I don't know, like Big Navy, I never had a problem with their tornadoes. But I always thought it was weird that each branch has like its own, uh, 
fast food place. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. between the Navy and the Air Force. Like, the Navy was, like, what, McDonald's, I think? Yeah, they had and, McDonald's. And we had Burger Kings. Yep. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember what's on Pax River. Um, it's probably McDonald's. And then they have, like, the other ones, like, Charlie's is on food, fucking, like, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fucking right. everywhere. Yeah. Dude, the best part about being on a Navy base is going into the BX or PX, whatever the fuck they call it, with uh, like, X. with like a hat on and then sunglasses on, and then being a civilian and messing with the gunnies or like the like the Marines that are there because they'll just sit around. They'll go to the BXs and they'll look for people <laughs> waiting to fuck somebody up. <laughs> up. Right? They'll come fucking charging over you, yelling at you, and then you they see your beard and they're like, oh. Uh, uh, have a good day. Yeah, and then fucking walk off. Like, get it's a fucking the, life, the dude. Best. It's the best <laughs> fucking with them, dude. It's the funniest because they just go hunt those fucking lower enlisted guys just to fuck with them because they got nothing else to do. You're sitting at a no. desk all day drinking coffee. Like, you're gonna get fucking super agitated and like, uh, like the coffee. So much coffee is just gonna like overwhelm you, and you got to get up and move. So, what's best to do? Well, you don't want to go do PT, right? Because PT for no. PT. So now you want to go where, A, you're going to be able to eat. So you're going to be able to stay there all day. You're going to be able to get drinks and shit, right? Because you're you're there at the shop. You're there at the BX. And then you have all those things everywhere. And then you see people who are fucking up on a constant basis. You're out of ranks. <laughs> Especially gunnery sergeants, dude. Those guys. They love fucking people up. Love eating ass. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to think of the name of that base. Um, Fort Sphincter. Sphincter Eaters. <laughs> it's Fort in Germany. Colon Blow. It's a, it's a huge base, but their their BX is like an actual mall. Like there's a Harley dealership inside the BX. Wow. What the fuck? Uh, yeah. Oh, you know what? A I'm BX. A BX like a mall. Oh, Italy. I've been to Fort Bliss, which is an army base out in El Paso. Their BX is a fucking mall, dude. It's huge, bro. Huge. Spang, maybe it's Spangala. The one at Elmo was pretty big. But yeah. This one, this this one had like this one had fucking under, a big a big Under Armour store, a fucking like a Texas Roadhouse in it. Uh, I mean a Denny's. There was so much shit wow. at Fort Bliss, like huge, a fuck ton, bro. So it was bigger than Lackland. Yes, it was fucking yeah. huge, and Lackland's was pretty fucking big. It was huge. You could you could go buy a Harley there too at Fort Bliss. But charge the Star Card. Charge yep. it. Star cards. Hell yeah, dude! I got a Star yeah. Card. I just opened you a Star would. Card not too long ago. <laughs> not too bad. No, hey, listen. When I had a Star Card first off in the Air Force, okay, they. <laughs> We didn't get along very well, okay? Because I was a broke airman. Yeah, my shit just got okay. charged off, I think. We did <laughs> not. Finally paid it off. <laughs> we did not get along too well because I was a broke airman, didn't pay my bills, okay? Now that I can somewhat pay my bills, somewhat, uh, you know, we we get along again. So Chitty <laughs> Chop would take his star card and go buy $100 Visa gift cards because he was broke. And somehow, I don't know how, but somehow he got like a $10,000 limit right when he got his star card. Ooh. And so he'd be broke at the end of the two weeks. And I'd be like, man, we can't, we, you want to do something? I ain't got no money. Oh, dude, it's fine. I got a star card. I'm like, yeah, but you can only use it there. No, no, I got this thing I've worked out. And he'd go buy two or three hundred dollar gift cards. And then we'd go party because you can use those Visa gift cards wherever. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And after like yeah, eight months, I'm like, well, you want to do the star card thing? He's like, no, I maxed out my star card, man. <laughs> Dude, I got a USAA card. Okay. When I was a fucking A1C, got a USAA card because I was like, yeah, okay, I need some a little extra cash. It was like 10 grand off the rip, dude. I was like, mm-hmm. what? Let's go. <laughs> I was an idiot. As yeah. most of us were at that age. Now I have one. Uh, prepaid credit card and i try to keep my balance at ten dollars each month <laughs> smart finally in my 40s i finally figured it out you know it's a necessary these things are necessary evil though you know what i mean they're a necessary evil yeah what else okay hey 
Okay. Since okay. Rhino isn't here. Okay. Hey. Okay. Hey. Since Rhino isn't here. Okay. Hey. Uh, let me look on my phone here because uh, I wonder if Rhino even knew we were doing an episode today because he doesn't pay attention to our messages. Rhino, man, Rhino's going through some stuff, man. I I don't know. I don't know if he was just with it this week. You know, him and Scummy are having tough times together. Yeah, I think he's got a prolapsed butthole. Is what yes. happened. Mm-hmm. They Pink had to sock. go to the ER. <laughs> he had to go to the ER. One of their buttholes. Got ripped up. <laughs> yeah, it was a fucking pink <laughs> sock situation. <laughs> yeah. Someone's mm-hmm. driving the dirt bike. Around us? He's driving by. Wah, wah, wah. I, don't, I don't hear it in Texas. He's I, gone now. I don't know if I hear it. He's, he's, like, he's probably around the corner from me, too. He's going like towards you, I think. Dude, there was this guy when this neighborhood first got built. We had first moved in. There was this cat with like a blue motorcycle trying to do wheelies and shit. And then like the stoppies on the front. And you just saw him fucking try to do a wheelie and the bike came out from underneath him and mm-hmm. fucking smashed up his bike and he fell off of it and slid down the street i haven't seen him again over here dude okay. i, I have a, <laughs> a video from my my security cameras of yeah. a chick coming down the street and fucking wrecking like right in front of my house <laughs> oh awful. shit yeah. yeah uh my buddy my buddy el jefe around the corner from us too has a uh a thing from a security camera where this mm-hmm. dude on a dirt bike, probably same guy out here, fucking uh, just hit the gas and he came out from underneath him and he fucking smashed his ankle into something. I think it was a car or trash can yeah. and he fucked himself up and he's like on the ground like, ah, <laughs> ah. he wasn't like the family guy, you know, with the stunner. Have you done any uh, <laughs> diving before you're at? Any diving? Yeah. So are you the place that starts a- with a Y? No. Uh, years ago, I caught a bull shark at Panama City, and that was the end of me Ooh. getting in the salt water. <laughs> so, why? You go. Yeah, I was like, fuck that. Why? Because they're shit and kill you in there, man. You don't even, need, you don't even see them. That's uh, when the first, so when we went to Guam the first time, everybody started getting their diving shirts. And then the next time, they just added on to them and stuff. And uh, yeah. then when you go to Kadena or Hickam or any place like that, then everybody was already all certified. So, that was the big thing for everybody to do. Yeah. I mean, it looks cool. Fucking more power to you, but nah. And there was the dudes at Elmo that would put on the, uh, the dry suits and go die. Yep. <laughs> oh, all right, guys. So this day in aviation, okay? This day in aviation, February 3rd, 1959, was the day the music died. Mm-hmm. You, know what we're, you know what I'm talking about? In aviation? Yeah. Get bopper. It was when uh, it was February third, nineteen fifty nine. Was Buddy Holly? Mm-hmm. I was thinking of Leonard Skinner. On a concert Lyric. tour, Holly, formerly of the band The Crickets, chartered a small airplane from Dwyer Flying Service to fly himself and two other performers to Fargo, North Dakota, for the following night's event. After the performance at the Surf Volume, okay, let me see. Hold on, let me see. During the previous eight hours, Roger Peterson had telephoned. All right, skip your tears. stories. Your stories. Hold yeah. on, bro. <laughs> they were met by their assigned pilot, Roger. Arthur okay, they crashed. Okay, no, we got the it. Charter That's all we care. <laughs> they took off at twelve fifty-five a.m. <laughs> Central Standard Time. During the previous eight hours, Roger Peterson telephoned the air traffic communication service three times for the weather forecast along his planned route. He was informed the weather was VFR with ceilings of forty-two hundred feet or higher and visibility ten miles or more. ATCs did not inform Peterson of a flash advisory of a 100-mile-wide band of snow moving into the area at 25 knots. Moderate to heavy icing conditions were present along with the winds 30 to 50 knots. Ginger face. (laughs) While taxiing the (laughs) runway, finally once again radio ATCs for weather was now reported to see the 3,000 sky obscured visibility 6 miles of light and snow wind gusting 20 to 30 miles. After takeoff, the airplane climbed approximately 800 feet and made a left a left turn 180 degrees. Don't fucking mute. Me. I was trying to mute you. But I don't have the control. <laughs> you don't have the power. <laughs> I've taken the power. Anyways, that's you're welcome. So, so they crashed and died. All right, cool. They crashed and they died. Right. Listen, yeah. you got to get the backstory because you're like, you're well, right. he crashed, but why? Because air traffic controllers didn't give him the correct shit, and so he they they died in a storm. Hmm. I actually did learn something there. I right. Know See? Was from ATC. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Those air traffic controller language, dude. That shit's crazy. Have you ever listened to yeah. it? 
I watch I watch the videos on YouTube and it's just like what what he just supposedly said? ATC I've heard in the past was one of the uh, most stressful jobs there is. That's what I've heard too. Yeah, yeah, it's one of the highest uh, reenlistment bonuses. Suicide rate. That's not, yeah. That too. That, yeah, that's what I've heard too. Is like it's really high stress. That's why so stressful. <laughs> that's what I've heard. So yeah. Stoner's an avid hunter. He killed anything recently? Yeah. What do you got, bro? What did you kill? Uh, no, do you, nothing do you, recently. Do you wear the fur? Uh, <laughs> do you wear the no. boots with the fur, the fur coat? <laughs> I did. I have killed a lot of stuff in Alaska. Uh, I, I drew a coveted bison tag up there. I oh. killed a bison in Alaska. Uh, it's been good killed, eating. It was. I took a bite of the fucking heart. Ooh. It was good. Uh, Mirror killed a couple face. of moose on base. Yeah. <laughs> uh, caribou. Uh, blacktail i'll actually be up there again in november for a hunt on kodiak um and then i just recently well in 2020 i started doing float hunts way up north on rafts and uh yeah pretty successful on those it's a fucking great time just out in the woods for 16 days so what you got there is that a pog no it's a coin what kind of coin it's a doubloon yar oh okay I don't even so, see what it is. All right, I thought it was a pod. It's a, it's a five hundred yen coin. Mm. Nice, nice. Hell yeah, dude. The uh, you killed any bears? No bears. No, that's one one thing that kind of eluded me up there. I never really had the opportunity to shoot one. So Rhino kills bears with his dick all the time. <laughs> I, was, I always thought that was weird because, like, every year the park gets shut down because of bear attacks and stuff. And uh, when I go fishing down south. Uh, I only encountered a bear maybe twice, and uh, yeah. lucky for you, there. they don't like your kind. They, they, they like scared. rhino. They like <laughs> rhino. He he he, uh, he looks for bear attacks. So he outside of there, outside of there, like, three, please attack me, rar. <laughs> you've got that that stretch of road that goes over the railroad tracks towards Fort Ridge. Yeah, and it's and it's open on both sides where it used to be, and there was some guy. Uh, I guess he was taking pictures. He had a camera. <laughs> and the bear, it was a bear cub, but she's chasing him in circles. And he would like he would get to the door and put the key in. And then the bear would come. So we'd have to run around. Make another loop. Just, so instead <laughs> yeah. of helping him, we just sat there and watched him for like 20 minutes. It just kept... <laughs> finally he got in the car right as the mom was coming out of the out of the woods. But it was pretty, pretty awesome show. I'm surprised there wasn't more attacks on base because people up there are not the brightest. Like, oh, look at these cubs. And they get out and then a fucking, the sow comes across and is like taking pictures. I'm like, she'll co- she'll eat your ass in like 10 seconds. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. But That's I was more afraid of moose up there. Well, I was going to say, again, with uh, doing stuff before I had my safety brief, when I, when I first got up there. <laughs> Me and another buddy had a few beverages and uh, went on the back side of the base and we were drunkenly chasing moose. Oh, perfect. On, oh, on foot. <laughs> on foot, yeah. And then, like, two or three days later, I had my safety brief and they're like, yeah, moose will kill you. I'm like, oh, damn, shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Just, just like the, and playing with the frogs in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> and then the, two days later, they told us that they they're poison. <laughs> yeah, don't touch them. They will fucking kill you. Hell yeah, hell yeah, dudes. Um, I've got a veteran thing. No, I'm, I'm gonna have to get off. I'm gonna have to get off. Veterans. Like, yeah, I was looking at a veteran program the other day. <laughs> a friend of mine is actually part of this. Um, it's Operation Phoenix Outdoors. Uh, let's see. Our mission is to give back to our nation and community heroes by using the outdoors as therapy to create mental health breaks. We do this by bringing military. Veterans, first responders, and their families on hunting and fishing trips to facilitate fellowship, friendship, and healing, ultimately enabling conversation and relationships that help combat the 22 veteran suicides a day. Our hope is that we help ease the transition from military to civilian life, reduce stress, reconnect families, and build friendship healthy relationships to reduce 